Alright guys, it's Amats uh, over here at RevoHTPC.com and today I um, don't have a nice high quality 1080p video for you but I do have my little grabby camera to show off the new Hillcrest uh, loop pointer that these guys sent me. I had an early impression earlier this week but I figured I would uh, give you guys a little video to see what it's all about. So what you're looking at here is the loop pointer. It's about the size of my hand. Um, it does use uh, two AA batteries, which is underneath uh, this little thing. You pop this this top piece off here and shove the two AA batteries in it. Um, it's kind of disappointing to me uh, that it uses the AA batteries, although they are supposed to last 80 hours. Um, but overall, I, I mean that's not that's not bad. I wish there was rechargeable um, battery inside of it. Hopefully you can see this, but there's two long buttons on the two sides. This is where you would hold it, hold it just like this. And on the, the left side is your uh, select or right click. Um, and on the other side you have back, which does perform like a uh, left left click, or right click, sorry. So you have left click, right click. Um, and right here, uh, I could turn on the top is their power button. You get a nice blue glow out of it. And then um, you also have a hide button. So what this does, is if you're moving the mouse it'll automatically stop it in its place and sort of puts it in a freeze freeze mode for a little bit um, and you can unclick it and it turns it right back to, to where it was that's nice when you're watching video so you don't have to worry about the mouse is moving so then right here you have your click wheel which will click in if you can hear it um, and then it's a scroll scroll click wheel so which is actually really nice to have uh, especially when you when you're inside of the Kylo browser, for example, you click in this this uh, click wheel, it brings up the zoom in function, then you zoom in and out. Um, if you're inside Media Center, for example, um, it will just uh, scroll through your menus or or whatever, just as if you had a scroll wheel. So, um, and it feels really nice in the hand. It's really firm. It's really light. Uh, the batteries, you know, don't really weigh it down. It's just a piece of plastic, um, and there's this like little piece here. I don't know if that's the IR emitter, most likely, and it glows blue. And if we go over to my my Revo, if you can see it here inside here, I have um uh, this is the dongle right here, which is the IR dongle uh, for it, and it works through my glass. Here's my Revo. Hey Revo. Um, so uh, it's gonna be a little bit tough to see, but. Uh, so I am just simply pointing where I want to go on the screen, and you can see my mouse on there is moving with it. Uh, and then I can go into, let's say I go into my movies. It's a little bit hard. I can go into my movies here, and you can see all I'm doing is simply just moving where I want to go on the screen. This is really nice. Um, Obviously, inside a media center, it's not super important. However, if I'm inside of a browser, this is nice. And I'll pull up the uh, the browser so you can see here. Now, it's really easy for me just to pick a movie out. Whereas if I have my Harmony remote, I really literally just have to um, go right, 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 right over and over again. Whereas with this, I can actually go over here and I can scroll and hold it down just like a mouse click because it is a mouse you know um, so if we exit out of this and I'll pull up the Kylo browser for you guys you can see a little bit maybe better example of, of why you'd want to use this um, so here's the Kylo browser and so this is nice because obviously if you're using a a mouse let me see they have the nice big icon there's the mouse right there so you can sort of see as I hover over these. And that's really nice because, you know, if you're sitting back on your couch, you know, you're not going to have it. So um, for me, it's always been a problem um, when I'm sitting on the couch trying to use the, the mouse. So if I hit, you can see if you can see the mouse, I'll try to get closer here on the screen. Now if I hit the hide button, and I move it like this, nothing happens. So that's, that's your hide function. Once I bring it back, boom, it's good to go. So, and then just inside the browser, the browser knows that the right click 
is a back button. So, and I'll show you guys the zoom functionality, but I'm supposed to be more showing off the, so if I click in here, um, it'll go into the zoom mode. And as I scroll in, this is going to get bigger. This page automatically resizes, I think. Um, and I can zoom out as much as I want. And like I said in the review of before of Kylo, it's not the snappiest browser in the entire world, but it gets the job done. So then we're back at the screen. So this is just a good example of of why you'd want to use the the loop pointer. Um, I actually found it really easy to use and, and really intuitive. Um, I gave it to the girlfriend to give it a try, and she seemed to like it. Um, and she gave it the stamp of, stamp of approval. I don't know if she would use it every day, and I wouldn't use it inside a media center because I would just use my Harmony remote. Um, but if I was going to use a browser, I would definitely want to use a loop. Um, or if I was doing something on the desktop um, that didn't need a keyboard and just needed a mouse, um, I would definitely use the loop for that. Uh, the biggest downfall, um, I think one strike against it goes with the batteries um, that you have to plug in there. But the real downfall is the price point. Um, Hillcrest Labs has a price point of $100 on this thing. Um, and it's very similar to like a Wiimote. <laughs> to be honest with you, because it uses the same technology, right, IR. Um, obviously, m maybe they put a little bit more into it. It looks kind of cool. Um, but, you know, if a Wiimote's $40, I don't really understand why this thing is $100. But if it does go down in price, or if you really need, a, if you really don't like your mouse and you, and you want a replacement, I think this is a a great alternative to what's out there today and it works and then that's the most important thing so hope this video review was a little um, helpful for you guys so you can actually see it hands-on and what it actually does on the screen um, and thanks for visiting the site